talked to uh, Jamie late yesterday with regard to some news we got from PennDOT. He uh, encouraged me to share it with the commissioners this morning. Um, we received uh, news, what I would call very good news. Three transportation grants were awarded uh, in Levin County uh, from PennDOT. And I'd like to explain all three of those to you. Um, as an MPO, you'll probably have heard some about uh, them in the past, but you'll be hearing more in the next uh, coming months and years. The first is uh, through what's called the PCTI program, Pennsylvania Community Choice Initiative. We had um, six applications in for that. Um, there were 388 applications um, throughout the state. There were 50 of those approved. These particular projects um, are designed to link transportation and land use type initiatives, particularly multimodal uh, transportation opportunities. There's been $60 million set aside in PennDOT's budget for these types of things, and, and uh, a lot of what uh, it's supposed to do is, is uh, advance uh, Secretary Bueller's smart transportation ideas that he has uh, developed. Um, so out of the 388 applications, there were 50 approved in Pennsylvania. We uh, are proud to have one of those. Uh, we got $660,000 for a park and ride a lot out at uh, Route 934 uh, location there um, accessing to Interstate 81 at a port in Newtown Gap. You might recall we've been talking about this for some time. This is a result of uh, the Colt Business Plan recommending this type of thing. Um, it's going to provide for people to park there and, and, and take some type of transit uh, bus access to Harrisburg. Um, the 660000 that we applied for and received will be augmented by $190,000 of CMAC money that's already been set aside for a total project cost of $850,000. Um, the park and ride lot should facilitate about 200 vehicles. Um, we'll have a bus shelter, lighting, uh, security cameras, an information kiosk, and all the things necessary to make it a, a really good active facility. So. Um, more details in terms of the press will be available through Colt if you'd like to talk to them and get some additional information. But we're really excited. This is, this is something that's, that's really going to be good for the, the people in, in Lebanon County. That uh, um, uh, notices that we got are under the Federal Safe Routes to School program. Um, this program is designed to improve walking and biking uh, facilities like sidewalks and trails and things that, that connect neighborhoods to schools. Um, and especially um, schools, I think, up to eighth grade. Um, there were 101 applications in the state for $56 million. Um, 30 of those applications were approved in the state, and we received two approvals. So that's something to really be proud of. We got two of the 30 projects approved in the state of Pennsylvania. Um, the first is in the city of Lebanon for $660,250 um, for sidewalks and curbing and, and uh, those type of improvements in the Blueprint community area of the northwestern quadrant of the city of Lebanon. And uh, at the very end of yesterday, I notified um, the award about that. Um, the second one is Jonestown Borough, $200,000. Um, sidewalks and paved trail systems connecting um, the neighborhoods around the Jonestown Elementary School to that school. And you might recall for oh, two, three, four years they've been talking about trying to get this done. In many cases they've got trail systems there already, but they're not paved and they've got issues during uh, winter time and inclement weather in terms of keeping them maintained. Um, in this particular project, uh, going back to the PCTI, uh, that money will pay for the whole project along with the CMAC money. On these particular projects here on Federal Safe Routes to School, the way it works is the applicant must get the project ready to go, do your design and engineering, that type of thing, at your cost, but then the grant pays 100% of construction costs. Um, the total of those three grants is just a hair over one and a half million dollars, so I think, we, in my opinion, at least partially a result of our excellent working relationship as an MPO with, uh, with PennDOT. Hey, hold on a second. The commissioners especially are to be congratulated on your key role on the Tell not teleconferencing. Yeah. And um, I think we're regularly seeing the benefits of, of that good, effective working relationship we have with PennDOT. Um, so with that, that's uh, what I have I a question on design and engineering. 
Where's that going to come from? And how much? That's up to the applicant. 